Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Nora. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Hey, Colin. Do you know who's the highest paid actor or actress in the world? Uh, no idea. <laughs> But I bet it's a sky high salary. After all, they're in the show business. All right, sky high salary. It means a big paycheck. 意思就是说天价薪水啊。那娱乐圈的薪资水平高，这个事情是大家都知道的嘛。Yeah. So, who was the top earner last year? Well, according to Forbes, Dwayne Johnson was the top on the list for the second year in a row. Ah, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Yeah. I like him. Um. Well, he's one of the best A-list actors. 嗯，巨石强森嘛。据说是最高的片酬呢，大概是拿到了一点二亿人民币。不过最近啊，其实爆出一条新闻说，中国一位明星比他的片酬还要高。Chinese celebrity getting a higher paycheck, <laughs> right? And do you know Zheng Shuang? She's reported to have received a hundred sixty million yuan for television role, 也就是人民币的一点六亿元 What? Zheng、uh, Shuang. Mm-hmm. Mm, this name sounds familiar. Oh, wait.、Mm-hmm. Isn't she that girl who was involved in the surrogacy scandal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 那这个地方呢，我们复习几个前面之前讲过的单词啊。Surrogacy 就是指的代孕 ，scandal 呢是丑闻。之前嘛，郑爽就是被爆出来代孕丑闻。那最近呢，她又因为了这个片酬的事情，再次上了热搜。她前夫爆料说她偷税漏税。Well, I am stunned. I guess she's again at the center of controversy then. Absolutely. 所以今天呢，我们就这个事件和大家一起来聊一聊。在节目的开始，给大家送一个福利。今天给大家限量送出十个我们早安英文王牌会员课程的七天免费体验权限，两千多节早安英文会员课程以及每天一场的中外教直播课，通通可以无限畅听。体验链接放在我们本期节目的 show notes 里面了，请大家自行领取，先到先得。Okay, first, how do you say 偷税漏税 in English? Mm, well, this phrase is a very formal legal term.、Mm-hmm. We will say、uh, evade tax or or tax evasion. Evade. This verb means to find a way of not doing something. 就指的是逃避、躲避。Exactly. Especially avoiding something that legally or morally you should do. 嗯，尤其是指的法律上啊，或者是道德上应该做的事情，你没有做，那这种情况下就可以用 evade 这个单词。那名词呢，就是 evasion。And can we use avoid like she avoided tax? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Or she avoided paying tax. 嗯，所以这两个词都可以用，但是 evade 会更加的正式，也就是更加的术语化。Yep. So Jung is now suspected of evading tax connected to the high payments.、Mm-hmm. Right now, related officials are investigating this case. But aren't there rules for limiting the salary of actors that they can earn from a movie? Yes, there are. An actor should not be paid more than fifty million yuan per show. 其实呢，在我们国家的法律啊，是规定演员单部片酬不得高于五千万。So how did she get around the rule? Well, it's alleged that she signed two contracts. We call it 阴阳合同 I got it. So one shown to the tax authorities, and the other that goes、uh, unreported in order to avoid taxes. 对。一个就是公开给税务局那边的合同啊，那另外一个呢，就是他以他妈妈的名义公司进账，所以呢，这种方式去 get around rules， 去规避规则了。So if this news is true, she has violated the law. Right， 这些行为呢，绝对都是违法的。那 violate 这个动词就是指的侵犯、违背。Yeah， to violate is to go against or refuse to obey the law. We will also say violating someone's privacy. 嗯，这个时候指的就是侵犯隐私了。So I guess she's cancelled this time. She's cancelled. <laughs> cancel 这个单词一般是指取消 ，like cancel a meeting, cancel a date. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but in speaking, someone's cancelled can be used to mean to stop giving support to that person, or、uh, they're being boycotted by a large number of people. Hmm, I see. Boycott is 就是抵制。So she's cancelled. 也可以指一个人被公开的抵制了，或者是不被支持了，就有点像我们说的这个人凉了
Yeah, yeah. Based on all that she has done, I think her values should be questioned. Absolutely. Values. 那这个词呢，其实就可以非常好的来用来指我们说的三观、价值观。嗯、mm, ，So your values reflect your beliefs about what is right and wrong and what is important in life. 对，那我们说和某个人三观一致，英文就是 we have shared values。那要是说这个人三观不正，那就是 her values are problematic or should be questioned。Yeah, yeah. Or, or you can say morals. Morals. Um, the public has raised doubts about her morals. 嗯，那 morals 这个词呢，指的主要是道德观。的确，郑爽的道德观也是主要被质疑的点啊，因为她还爆出来饲养宠物、偷吃超市的食物。Well, we hear events like this now and then.、Mm-hmm. Many celebrities are simply not qualified. They don't deserve such sky-high payment. Yeah, I agree. Actually, this year in China, we published a new list of moral guidelines for actors and other performers. Hmm, a list of moral guidelines? Yeah. Well, okay. So, what will happen if an actor disobeys them? Well, they could face a permanent ban from their profession if they fail to comply. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, this is good news then. A permanent ban can be a good reason for them to restrain their behavior. Yeah, a permanent ban is 就是指的永久的封杀。其实从今年年初开始呢，我们就已经公布了相关的法律，对于这类劣迹艺人一律封杀。Well, it's very necessary. I think Chinese netizens also have become increasingly vocal about their expectations for the behavior of celebrities. Exactly, because their values will influence millions of people. 那前面其实我们提到了一个单词啊，叫做 vocal。这个其实一般是乐队中的主唱，但是除此之外呢，如果对某件事情 become vocal， 也可以指的是发声。Yeah, you know, being vocal can also mean expressing opinions or feelings loudly. Yeah. 所以，互联网的好处也在这儿吧。They can be vocal anytime. 然后呢，就能够监督到艺人的举止。Right. So, okay, I've got a question for you.、Uh, mm-hmm. Taking it back to today's topic,、uh, do you think it's fair for them to get such a big paycheck? Well, of course not. 其实我觉得薪水更多的应该要跟一个人创造的社会价值还有贡献度相关。<laughs> yeah, that's a good point. It should depend on one's contribution to society.、Mm-hmm. People in many other careers should get a higher payment. Yeah, yeah. 但是毕竟这是一个消费的时代，那明星的价值呢也是由消费者决定的。So we can do nothing about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least、uh, let's hope that their behavior and values can match with their salary. 嗯，那节目的最后呢，大家是怎么看待明星高价片酬这件事儿的呢？欢迎在评论区和我们互动。Well, that's all for today's podcast. This is Colin. Thanks for listening. This is Nora. See you next time. Bye. 今天的节目就到这里了。如果节目还听得不过瘾的话，也欢迎加入我们的早安英文会员。成为会员，您就可以无限畅听我们每天一场免费的中外教直播课，以及两千多节原创系统课程了。今天我们限量送出十个七天免费试听权限，试听链接放在我们本期节目的 show notes 里了，请大家自行领取，先到先得。This podcast is from Morning English. 学口语就来早安英文。